peace be the journey. I'm here in Devon, ready for my uh, straw bale course. Uh, I've just arrived and set up camp. I'm just outside the love shack, you can see there. Uh, the guy who's teaching me has uh, is made that. Got my reading material, they made me a brew already. I'll just show you what I'm, uh, where I'm staying. It's uh, in their little orchard. There's a tent there. All set up. Um, in a bit of a gap. And I just placed myself in front of this gate because I thought that looks awesome. In... What an awesome place. I'm loving it so far. I'm really inspired. I want to get on with uh, building and see how the day goes. And I'll tell you how things go and uh, what I've learnt today or what I've messed up, you never know. And uh, I'm just going to have my cup of tea now and uh, I'll come back and talk to you in a bit. timber on there and do the same thing fix that into this block a little bit greener yeah definitely is it one of his fractures i don't know it matters too much as long as the integrity was there but that has fractured quite a lot, a lot isn't there, isn't it? It? so sometimes can i show you Sometimes Just twist it. the twisting will keep it rather than split. Oh, okay. But if you're making thatching spars, we twist. Right. And and then we have. So I'm not holding it very well. It's actually quite a bit thicker than you use. But sometimes you can get that twist on it, yeah. oh, okay. which will just hold it a bit firmer. It will, it will certainly give you that flexibility. That's actually gone quite a long way down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, th I always think it's probably better to make sure you hammer it both sides. It's a bit like with the both metal. Both sides of the bend, yeah. Take it Instead to the middle and, the oh, and okay. hit it either side. Like, yeah, you yeah, might yeah, just yeah. break the fibres slightly less lumpy. Okay. But the, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be... The most important thing is if you can get that one to bend even with a twist like that, yeah. right? A thatching spar would be done like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you could, as long as you can hammer onto that, and the most important thing is it's not breaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. that's not breaking. That'd so that's right. it's, it's still doable. Usable, yeah. Staple, yeah. Um, but like I say, because it's of the way it's the fibres have done that, you'll put a twist in it maybe just to help it. Like, just trying to give you an example. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. I do do that on the on your knee on a twist. But I would say you'll be able to use it, but it's a bit messy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. So hammer either side, you, you'd say, of where you bend it? So. Well, hammer it where you're bending it. You need a fair fair length. How long was that one? Do you remember? Uh, Is it going into the bale below? Yeah, it's so going, going just, two, it's no, just it's going, going into, into the top bale. Below. So so it's just, just tying them. The so about 14 inch and then yeah, yeah a good so length. There? Yeah. yeah. And the thing to do is practice, as you, you know. <laughs> day one done I've really 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 enjoyed it we've uh, we've done two two courses of uh, straw bales we've put stakes in we've done foundations hey, it's been amazing I've really enjoyed it I've learned loads so much in the space of just you know a day um, I've had a lovely meal I'm, I'm in a wonderful setting I'm thinking straw bales the way to go but well, I'll see how the, the week pans out and and keep you updated on that because I've really enjoyed it. I just want to show you what uh, what I've got here, what I'm, where I'm staying. It's awesome. I'll try and talk you through it while I'm going. 
I'm in the uh, orchard and I've just walked through and there's this uh, sort of dome structure. Uh, this this uh, structure they're building at the minute is like, uh, they've got a glass bottle wall there. And basically this is logs and built out of old doors and things. It's, uh, and they're using it as a log store. It's pretty cool and I think the building he said a straw bale structure up, up there on the uh, the post of this these trees here. Yeah. It's, uh, it's awesome. We've got a compost toilet, and they've just been talking about rocket stove burners for uh, heating your uh, water up. Look, there's even a tyre swing ran into some sort of horse, which is a tyre. There's an old boat in the garden, like three houses. It's, uh, it's pretty impressive to be honest. The guy that's running the course, Grant, I highly recommend him. Come and see him, definitely. Some water down here. Ah, yes, yeah, so I will have one. <laughs> I'll just put this in car. Been off with a cider. I'll take it. Look at this. This is glass wall here. Awesome. And the cob. Oh, it's a lime render shaped into a sun. Leslie, I love that. Good morning. Day two of the course in Devon. I uh, had a bit of a, a whirl yesterday. It was good fun. Sorry, I didn't get much uh, content up apart from what I got on my mobile. Uh, last night I went out to the to pub to find something to eat but they didn't have anything vegan or anything for me so um, and one pub didn't want me in so I came home and had a banana but as I was walking past I had some uh, homemade cider so I brought out this big barrel of cider and uh, we started drinking that and then we didn't finish there till half twelve and that barrel of cider was halfway down so I've got a bit of a thick head this morning and uh, my wife was right the tent leaks at night so uh, I was a bit cold and wet um, half tempted to go and stay in the car but I couldn't be bothered so I just stuck it out kept waking up every two minutes and then when I finally got to sleep these guys behind me uh, they fart a lot and it's very noisy he scared the shit out of me for uh, this is day two I'm hopefully going to be doing some more of the wall today and finding out how to, hopefully, how to apply the plaster on render onto it, I presume anyway, but I don't know how the day's going to go. Again, I'll try and, I'll try and video some today and uh, show you what we're doing in the, in the, in the daytime and uh, upload some more later, so uh, peace. See you in a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to cut a little channel in there. So first off, we make sure the strings, have a look at where that string is. We moved it right back there cleverly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a bit of wood at the bottom. So we've got to watch for that. So don't, I don't want to cut into that bit of wood. I don't want to go anywhere near that far back. Um, yeah. Put some goggles on just to get a bit of, you know, you'd be getting a bit of, um, Spray back. I'm just going to use the nose of it. When you like, say this one, you do that there. I can put it like that and cut. Yeah, okay. Cut in like that. I'll just give you a little demo. <laughs> Is it? Not drastic at all, no, no. but if you want to go, it's just a nice, simple, quick course. Um, if you want to have a go, this is where obviously it's hard to mark, so you kind of have to use your eyes and sort of think, is that in the right place? Yeah, but what I'm saying, I mean, you could do it with a bit of spray can, but then as soon as you do it, the Gone, stuff yeah. that you've marked is <laughs> yeah, gone yeah, so yeah. it's one of those things you sort of use your eye and then 
Do you want to have a go at that? Yeah, yeah. Good glasses yeah. here. So just, so if you just use the nose of it and kind of just like you, you sort gouging of wiggling it, it from, yeah, you're just gouging it really because obviously you're not cutting, it's not like you're not just sort of cutting through the fibres, you're just kind of cutting yeah, the end of them. Up. What's that? It's a bit short, but I think it's mm -hmm. probably more important towards that end, isn't it? Well, we didn't film ourselves cutting ourselves, anyway. <laughs> Still the same. my other neighbours, they were the ones that woke me up this morning actually, because I could hear the uh, bar in, but I couldn't see her anyway, and there's, there's actually a field here, a field up there, a field over there, and you can't see it, but down there, there's another field, and uh, they're all in there, so you've got like the sound all around you, it's pretty pleasant actually, it's a shame what's going to happen to them, anyway, I'll keep exploring, see if we can find out what else. Day three of the uh, straw bale course. Just woke up uh, for the 20th time last night. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well at all. Um, there was noises all the time. Uh, it was cold. It was wet. Uh, it was great. I loved it. <laughs> but I'm kind of awake now. Uh, later than I wanted to be because I wanted to go for a walk this morning. But I don't think I'll get a chance until maybe after. I might do. It's, uh, I'm just going to have a cup of tea. It's my... Um, my dad's birthday today, so cheers, Dad. Hope you're having a good one up there. Um, I don't know why that came into my head then. Obviously, I must have been thinking about him. Um, um, so, yeah, today, I believe, we're just finishing off the walls in the straw bale house uh, that we're building. And uh, I'm hoping we're going to do some sort of rendering today so we can see the finishes of it and... I want to talk to him about how we put windows in and things like that. I've got a rough idea from what we were saying yesterday. You know, when you get the bale, you put the plank on. Um, 
and drive it in with stakes and again on the sides to make your frame and you can either put a wooden frame in that again or you can put your window straight to that um, loads of different ways of tying it in with builders uh, tape and stuff like that so uh, builders band sorry not tape so it's, it's very interesting and um, I feel empowered by this course so I'll try and uh, link below what, what course I've been on because obviously I, I highly recommend him so far <laughs> Um, he's a very talented bloke, and if you if you like what you've seen, you can you can have a look at it and see if you see if it's something you want to do. If not, you know, just see how we get on with it. All right. Again, I'll try and film during the day, but it's difficult filming during the day because I've I'm obviously hands on and can't hold the camera. And there's no way really to stand it up. But uh, if I get chances, I will, like I have been doing, and then uh, so you get an idea of how the day's gone. But again, it's a fantastic day. Sun's absolutely blaring down on me. Uh, I think that's what's making it cold in the tent at night because it's like condensating and dripping. And <laughs> maybe I just need a new tent. Anyway, see you soon. Bye. I'm basically just lifting it up and pushing it down on the lamp. Like I say, you can do this by hand, but it's, um, you know, if you're doing a big wall, it's quite a lot to, a lot to do. I mean, this is a really, this one I think is 160. You can get them for about 70 or 80 quid, but, yeah, I mean, I use it, you know, I use these sort of things quite a lot. <laughs> And you've got three many of them, but the reason why it's more is because you've had it one previously that didn't last that long. Or? No, I mean you can put these paddles, you can get a slightly smaller paddle and put it on a heavy duty drill. Okay, yeah, 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 I've seen um, those. So that's yeah. what I've used in the past yeah. and that's worked okay, but well, I thought why not get one of these yeah, yeah, yeah. more better for the top. <clears throat> so you've got a speed, speed button there, you can just increase that. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, we're going a bit faster. I'll let everyone have a go at this and I'll just get this back going. Yeah, so you can get a couple of these, put it on the wall. That's already starting to go into a into a pace. That's crazy. Yeah, and you get the sort of idea of how much um, how much water to how much to you know obviously the main thing with any experimentation is to make sure you write down what your sort of things are because it's no good. And that was the perfect mix. <laughs> yeah. What was in how it? Did I do, that, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, well, depend on how dry if you want to splash a bit well. more water in there, absolutely, yeah. Or your sand, our sand sits outside. Yeah, I mean, it's probably worth having the clay a little bit I'm wetter sure. before we start yeah. off. That's enough for now. coating these little tips <coughs> of, <coughs> even the clay will probably flip into your eyes so um, they get some and if you come across an area where you think oh shit I forgot to shove a bit of straw in there you know maybe you can just stop and get some straw and shove it mm -hmm. in there you see what I'm doing, I'm kind of smearing it on to get it out of the bucket. So obviously 
find a sort of way that works for you. Some people find it easier to put on with a trowel. So, You can see it doesn't, it doesn't look easy, doesn't, doesn't it? It doesn't really want <laughs> to go on there. It must waste it, it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, flicking it on. It's good everywhere, doesn't it? It does go everywhere, but it kind of flicking it, you can see it works better it than, than trying to smear it. But to be honest, what I've found is the best is, is just to use your hand because you can kind of smear it and work it in there at the same time. Finished, all finished, uh, course is over. Apart from the metal work course I've got tomorrow. Uh, we've been working on this wall today. So we put a clay into the wall, shoved it in with his fingers so it creates a key for the next layer. Uh, and then we'll do we'll do another layer on top of that, which I'll show you around the corner. So go with me and Well, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I've had a really good weekend, I've learnt loads. Um, I, I feel like this is definitely the right move that we've got um, a good choice of build to do here so um, it's been really inspiring and I'm ready to go for it now so I'm really glad I did it and I can totally recommend it um, it's so so nice and helpful and I just feel empowered that we can do it um, obviously I'm a bit nervous because I've never been in some sort of building before but the, the techniques that we're using um, I, I think anyone could do it, so fingers crossed again, and uh, keep watching, subscribe, like, watch us on Facebook, check out the blog on www.peacebethejourney.com, peace out. It's a good idea to...